Hey, this is Tammy and I do math for coffee. And this lesson is about angle addition. We already did segment addition. Let me remind you of that and I'll also put a link up here. Remember. And with segment addition, we did something like this. You'd have a little chunk. And then we would pop another guy next to it. And the question was, like, how long were these going to be? Like, if I tell you this one is 3, and then this one is 7, then the length of the entire thing would be 10. You would just add those together. Angle addition is the same idea. So if you wanted to know how big this entire angle was, all I got to do is add those two together. 30 plus 100 would be 130 degrees. All right, let's try something that is a little bit more involved. And so I'm going to draw a diagram that's a little bit more complicated. You're drawing with me, I hope. Because I wanted you to build a notebook that you could use as a supplement to your geometry class. Or if you're just refreshing yourself on how geometry works with my videos, you have a little notebook. So for whichever test you are studying for. So I'm going to call this 60. I'm going to call this one 40. No, nothing's drawn to scale. Just go with it. In geometry, nothing's ever drawn to scale. We try, but I kind of just did it. <laughs> So the question is, is how big is maybe this angle? How big is that one? And so you just add those two together. 40 plus 25 is 65. And then somebody might want to know, well, how big is the whole thing? What if you added all of them together? 60 and 40 is 100 plus 125, so this whole thing would be 125 degrees. So the, the idea of angle addition is actually really simple, but the problems themselves are not. So I'm going to switch over to, um, to the computer and show you some examples, and we're going to do some practices too with some little more complicated problems. In the beginning of geometry, you're going to see problems like this, and it's going to feel like you are trying to do a whole different language. Because, you know what, yeah, you kind of are. Find the measure of angle UCB if the measure of DCB equals 174, and the measure of angle DCU equals 54. So, first thing I always do is mark up my diagrams. So and I have colored pencils and highlighters all the time. So what I've done here is I've taken the information that they've given me. DCB is 174. Well, DCB is the entire angle. So that's the 174. DCU, DCU is this angle right here. I've done it in pink. That's 54. And we want to know what UCB is. UCB, this green angle, is not the 174, but the part of the angle that when you add it to 54 is going to give you 174. Now, you're probably doing it in your head, but you need to know how to write this up because they're not always going to be like this. So we go ahead, do 174 minus 54, and we come up with the answer of 120. All right, I would like you to try to do this one on your own, and I'll be right back with the answer. All right, it's a very similar problem than the one we just did. Let's fill it in. All right, I hope you got that. This one I want to do for you. This is where it starts to get a little bit gnarly. We're going to be bringing algebra into geometry. All right, FGH is the entire angle. FGH is the whole thing, and the whole thing is 160 degrees. FGC, FGC is this guy right here. It's X plus 114. 
and the other part of that angle is x plus 54. Remember, this is angle addition, very much like segment addition. You add two little pieces together and make it equal to the whole thing. So that's the setup. Now we need to just forget it. The geometry is done once you have this part written. Now you're going to do algebra. We're going to start by combining like terms, putting the x's together and putting the numbers together. Now we subtract 168 on both sides. We end up with 2x equals negative 8 and x equals negative 4. That is the correct answer, but sometimes when you get negative answers in geometry, it's kind of unnerving. So watch me check this. If x is negative 4, that means this would be a negative 4. And when you put a negative 4 with a 114, you get 110. When I put a negative 4 with a 54, I get a 50. When I add these two things together, you get the 160, which is what you're supposed to have. Try this one. All right, here is the solution. very fast. That went by. You might need to pause this and take a look at it. And the answer is x equals 3. If you didn't get that, go back and look at your work and compare it to mine and see if you can find your mistake. Because you learn from mistakes. You don't learn from getting things right. That's fun and all, but that's not how we learn. All right, I'm going to do this one. It's very similar to what we did before, except after we find the x, we're going to have to plug it in to find the actual angle. In this case, we're looking for the size of angle A, B, U. All right, A, B, C, which is the whole thing, is 13x minus 6. A, B, U, as an algebra expression, is 4x plus 22. That's where we're going to plug the x in when we're done. And U, B, C is 80. Again, the setup is the same. Add the two little pieces together and set it equal to the whole thing. I did that here. I'm going to combine the 22 and the 80 and get 102. So now I have an equation with variables on both sides. The way I like to do this is to subtract the smaller variable. And so then I'm going to add 6 to both sides. We end up with 9x equals 108. Divide 108 by 9, you get x equals 12. Now, the most one of the most common dumb mistakes you'll make in geometry is you're going to feel like you're done right here when they really want you to plug it in. So make some room. We have to take this x equals 12, and we need to plug it in to 4x plus 22. Easy math, easy math. Answer is 70 degrees. All right, here comes one like this with different numbers that for you to try. And here comes the full solution. Okay, I lied, it's not the full solution. It's used to get to the X. Check your work and see if you got x equals 10. We're not finished yet, but you have to have this part right. And I need to make some room. So once you know that x is 10, how did you do on these? If you have questions, which I totally expect, drop them in the comments down below. Hey, thanks for watching. If you are ready for the next lesson, go ahead and click into this video. And the one that came before is right here as well. So see you guys next time. Bye.